welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the arts and culture events from the MENA communities here in London and in the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's up in London. A little-known masterpiece of a documentary by photographer, painter and graphic artist William Klein, the Pan-Africa Festival of Algeria 1969 will be showing at the Genesis Cinema in East London. The film plunges us into the very heart of the first Pan-African cultural festival held in Algeria. This historic festival brought a global spotlight on African culture and arts, celebrating the liberation of African nations from colonial rule and calling for the same freedom for the rest of the continent. The screening will be followed by a discussion with Pan-Africanists, activists and writers. It will take place on Thursday 6th of November and you can get more information and tickets at genesiscinema.co.uk. An evening of wine tasting awaits for the lucky ones as part of the Noor Festival in West London. Author of Wines of Lebanon, Iraq and Mezid, The Taste of Lebanon and Lebanese Wines, Michael Karam, explains the history of winemaking in Lebanon from the dawn of the time to the present day, followed by a tasting of wines from eight leading producers and accompanied by light Lebanese mezze. This tasty event will take place at the Booking Kitchen in West London on Friday the 7th of November. And for more information, you can just click on to bookandkitchen.com. For those interested in the contemporary architecture and modern life in cities in the Middle East and North Africa, there will be an exhibition at the Royal Geographical Society taking place. The exhibition, accompanied by talks and a documentary screening, offers a visual exploration of the built and lived environments of key urban centers in the region. With live music and refreshments, this promises to be an all-around informative, inspiring and fun event. It will take place in the elegant rooms of the RGS on Thursday the 13th of November. And for more information, you can go to rgs.org. Now, let's take a look at what's up in the Middle East. Young photographers from the Middle East and North Africa who have been capturing documentary pictures will be showcased in the exhibition next to here in the Al Madina Theatre in Beirut. The 18 works exhibited were taken all around the MENA region and represents narratives of the contemporary world. They explore landscapes of the cities and of nature and they portray humans, showing the things we all have in common. The exhibition is now open and will go on until Thursday the 13th of November. For more information, go to almadinatheatre.com. A new take on the usual film festival with educational and scientific films on display is taking place in Dubai at the Science Film Festival. 19 scientific and educational films are showing and the aim of the festival is to show that education and entertainment can go hand in hand to inform and entertain the public. The festival is on until Tuesday 4th of November and you can find more information on gothi.de. Now, let's take a look at this week's recommended arabesque episode. The amazing and heart-wrenching documentary by the filmmaker Leila Sansur, Open Bethlehem, will feature in our newest episode of Arabesque. Leila, originally from Bethlehem, returned to her hometown to do what she first intended, make a small film about her round trip back. The small film stretched out and 10 years later it has become featured documentary and a movement, trying to raise awareness about the wall that is being built there and the difficulties of the everyday life. Tune in very soon to catch our exclusive interview with Leila and see the first UK screening on Levant.tv slash Arabesque. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events for the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and in the Middle East. Till then, take good care.